Hello everybody, welcome to this masterclass with Natalia Sadovska. Uh, Natalia, two times world champion women, maybe you can introduce yourself? Yes, so hello everyone. Mm, thank you for the invitation. Uh, I'm really glad that I can uh, run this uh, masterclass. It's a big pleasure, of course, for me. So yes, I'm a two-time world champion, as you already know. And yes, I have quite a lot of successes, especially last year, actually. So uh, I'm a triple European women champion uh, from the last year. Uh, in a uh, classic uh, drafts, rapid uh, drafts, and uh, blitz drafts, and uh, from my last very important achievements, probably also world champion uh, rapid from 2021. So, so there are pretty a lot uh, achievements, and yes, once again, I'm happy that I can be here tonight with you. Yes, I'm happy that you are here too. I think you're a great example for many women and girls that play drafts. Um, I'll introduce myself too. My name is Nicole de Vries. I play drafts too, uh, on a bit lower level than Natalia, of course. Um, but I'm really happy to be here as a co-host of this masterclass. Um, this masterclass is created by Drafts 10 times 10 uh, in collaboration with Droomdamsters. Uh, that's a Dutch name and um, it's an uh, organization uh, which I am the, uh, the, the, the the leader of I guess and um, it's for women and girls who play drafts because now we see in the, the world of drafts we see much men and I want to see more women and girls in it so um, we host much activities And um, yeah, that goes well. So if you want more information about it, I will uh, repeat it a few times in this masterclass. You can go to our website, uh, droomdumpsters.nl. And um, lastly, I want to say, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Drafts 10 times 10. Um, and I think we can start with the first game. Yes, so uh, good that you mentioned uh, that uh, there are actually yeah, not, not that many girls, women uh, playing our sport. Uh, and it's nice that, uh, that you in the Netherlands, that you promote uh, this sport among uh, young girls, women. I think it's, it's very important. And it's nice that uh, we are both here uh, representing uh, yeah, women, women drafts and uh, Be because the the previous ones were mostly, I think, all were uh, with with men with the grandmasters. So uh, it's nice that we can uh, start a new trend, let's say. Uh, so according to to the um, analysis and and our games, so uh, I will I will show, uh, let's say. Many, of course, uh, good and technical games of, of mine, but also um, I want to show you some uh, some very meaningful games for me. Like uh, we will start with the with the game against uh, Aigul Idrisova. So we will go back to 2015. So it's already almost eight years ago, and it was uh, World Championship uh, Women. So very important tournament for me and uh, why it was very important, maybe I will tell at the beginning, because it was the year when I was uh, finishing my studies actually and that was a question uh, for me, what will I do after I graduate, uh, whether I will go into career, let's say, uh, from my studies or I will just go into drafts and uh, This uh, World Championship was like a crucial event for me because I knew if I'm in a top three, if I achieve something, then, then I will go this way. But if I uh, screw it up and it will totally go bad, like uh, I will finish uh, behind the podium and so on, then I, I know that uh, yeah, I, I probably have to finish my drafts career. I will take it as a hobby and so on. So that's why I put a lot of uh, effort, a lot of hard work before this uh, World Championship. And uh, what's also funny, 
Mm, I only started cooperating with my coach at the time, of course, Evgeny Vatutin, a uh, very known coach. And I started uh, cooperating with him in 2014, just only like before this World Championship, because I was like, OK, if I, if I want to achieve something, if I want to finish it in top three, let's try to, to train with a coach maybe, because till 2014, I was just training by myself mostly. I had some coaches, but it was like only, let's say, for training camps for a few weeks uh, in a year and so on. But But never I had like a stable coach with whom I was uh, practicing every week. So, uh, yeah, so that's why this, this tournament was very important for me. And this game is from the round number 14. And uh, I had to win last two games uh, to, to finish in top three. And uh, that's why we will watch uh, this game. Mm, so, yeah, as I, as I said, uh, I had to win this mm -hmm. game. We played the theoretical uh, opening, so we will uh, we will see soon. And what I can still mention, if I uh, to the viewers especially, and also to you, Nicole, if I go too fast or if you have some questions in between, then just uh, feel free and you can interrupt always. So okay, we play the. Uh, I play with yes. black. Yes. Uh, we play the the known opening. So here we have a theory, the known 242. Mm -hmm. And yeah, now uh, there are also some, some more possibilities. Some people exchange like here immediately. Then white also fight for this uh, field 27. It can get it can go also this way, but we went OK. This is also, I think, a mistake nowadays. And uh, even me, I would just uh, go with this piece here okay. to not leave okay. uh, this piece, this piece five uh, like staying here. But in the game, it was like mm -hmm. this, which turned also fine. But I think it's a small inaccuracy, I would say. Mm. So we're playing, nothing is happening, let's say, just so, some moves are obvious. Yeah. Just building into the okay. center of the board. Yes, exactly. So probably if you would look uh, into some uh, database, we would find uh, many games in yeah. this in this open and in this variation. And I think it's always important in this position when there's a white piece on this field, you have control over this field, right? Yes, yes. And uh, always we, we have to remember that uh, this and this yeah. piece, uh, that that for me, it's uh, this piece can be really useful, white piece, because I can always uh, run a lot of combinations. We have a lot of threads and so on. So we need to remember that all games with this piece, 15 or, or 36, of course, mm -hmm that uh, they they maybe look simple but they are never simple because you need to check uh, actually after each move if there is any combination any threads any forcings and so on so the the game is uh, becoming like tough from the beginning yeah, i would exactly. say for both colors yeah yeah for both colors mm, okay mm. So it was like this, and uh, this is, I think, uh, some first inaccuracy from Igul's side, uh, because now I will just uh, tread like this. Okay, this is of course an easy, easy tread. She, she will, uh, she would see that, but uh, now she has to play with the golden piece. As, and as you know, this is of course the very important piece in drafts. So uh, probably she should have played uh, just like this. I would exchange. I would develop the piece six, uh, which is of course quite quite bad. And the game would would go like this uh, direction. Still, I would like uh, to play with black because still I have some control on the on this wing and on this field, but. Uh, yeah, it's just an equal game, like uh, still nothing is happening. 
Mm, so okay, so uh, I used uh, the thing that that she played forty to thirty seven. I played to twenty four, and as you said, it's also important to control this this field yeah. in this kind of positions. Mm, yeah, so she was forced to play with forty eight, which I already liked because you know. In our games, it's always like the game goes equal, equal, and it's actually all about the small details. Yeah. So if I found that I can have even a small, very small advantage, then of course uh, I will go immediately yeah, for this. Yeah, you see that really often in games between two players that are both of a high level, um, which yeah. are very skilled, and um, it's always about the small things, the small mistakes. And yes, and even like uh, really like one one small uh, mistake yeah, can really. uh, so can just make for the viewers that can also make it uh, a bit harder to follow. So if you have a question, you can always ask in the YouTube chat. I will look at that and um, I will try to answer. Uh, you can also donate to Drafts Ten Times Ten so we can uh, make more of these masterclasses to learn you something maybe. <laughs> Yes, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm talking, of course, uh, quickly and a lot. Yeah. So, but <laughs> if you have questions, then uh, on on the chat, then always uh, exactly. yes, you can you can ask. Um, okay, so she played uh, in this position thirty one twenty seven, uh, which is yeah, of course uh, for me it was an obvious uh, obvious move that I will exchange to four two because. Uh, this uh, this formation when it's like this of course it's not really pleasant for uh, for white because the the lack of piece 41 i think is uh, important because she cannot never build like like this with the column so it's already something for yeah. me let's say of course the the computer will always show a, a, a draw but uh, there is already something and her position is uh, is not that nice to play i think because uh, this this wing uh, I control, this I don't, but actually she also doesn't really control. If, if I want that I can come with the piece here and exchange and uh, she doesn't have the golden piece, so I think uh, mm, it's already not much better for me, but for sure better. Okay, so I just played a, a normal move, she played to 28. And now I had uh, two choices, or to go into classic or exchange uh, two for two, which I did in the game. But actually, I could also go just uh, to the classic. She would have to close. I would play a logical move 7-11, uh, of course, to make some formations. And uh, you can see that uh, her wing is bad here. Of course, she cannot uh, play like this because afterwards she has no exchange here so probably she would have to exchange like this i would close it and yeah i saw this position but uh, i wasn't sure because now i have no uh, mm, no influence let's say on this wing and uh, and she can easily exchange like this and i didn't okay i lock her pieces uh, here yeah. But I wasn't sure whether it's enough and I can win this game. And, you know, many pieces are gone from the board, so I was afraid that it's not enough. It's a slight advantage, but I was like, OK, uh, we will exchange a lot of pieces. And uh, I don't see an easy plan for me that uh, that can be dangerous for her. So that that's why I, I chose for two for two, which I thought uh, I can have more chances and I can uh, maybe later on break through somehow if I, if I come with uh, more pieces on, on that wing. And uh, actually that happened that happened later. Uh, I'm not too fast yet. Uh, not for me. I think it's uh, very clear. But if someone finds it too fast and has a question, uh, I will see it in the chat. Okay, okay, so I will mm, continue. So she played like this, I played 3-9. Uh, of course, now I'm developing uh, 6 yeah. because uh, I have uh, nice structures here, so of course I don't want to spoil it. So 7-11 uh, would be an ugly yeah, move, I would, would say. Yeah, so 6-11 so is of course uh, very logical. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, she played uh, 33, which is also logical. I played farther. Uh, this and now, yeah, now I had uh, mm, like first dapped or I have to exchange like this mm. or just once. But but here I chose for that one. Both were actually possible because of course my my plan is is to go with my pieces for the breakthrough somehow. Yes. So. I yes. want to go this direction as as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, but here I chose that I uh, exchange uh, once. She played this and now I exchange again. So as you know, I, I won with these two exchanges for tempos, mm -hmm. which is also very important um, that I'm farther than her yes. with the development. So uh, you can you can already see that uh, the position was equal all the time, but now I I push on her position, yes. and of course I'm I'm closer to the to the line of the kings, let's exactly. say. Mm, yes. So she played this. I played this. She played this. And now, yes, now I played a move after which she can have uh, two for three. Yes, like this. But that, that would be, yes, but that would be uh, a mistake. And uh, it's funny because this combination uh, will be during uh, the game like uh, three times, I think. So this time it's a losing one because if she takes this, then I uh, go to the king. She, oh, yeah, she cannot, she cannot close, of course, because uh, I can just give this one, I believe. And yeah, and I just uh, eat all her pieces. I have few choices, I believe. Maybe I can go like this, probably twinning. I can also jump like this and later thread is this one. Mm, so she cannot do this yeah if she plays like this then i have a very nice combination which is uh, uh, i think quite hidden i just give one piece of course cannot take backwards because i take two pieces so she will have to take this i give actually all pieces <laughs> and it would finish like this uh, mm, with an easy win so that's why she couldn't take it now mm -hmm. Mm, okay, so I played this, she played this, I played 8, 12, uh, now she still can't do this, so she exchanges here, and uh, now I saw that uh, she, she can she can take it, but uh, I was like, okay, uh, I will take that risk, because in drafts you always have to make uh, like many decisions and sometimes you need to take a risk and sometimes you know that uh, this move is not the best one but maybe your opponent uh, you know yeah. will, will not see that will not check it or just sometimes you have to bluff i i have to admit that that sometimes in in our sport you you have to bluff otherwise uh, yeah you you will not win some games yeah so. that's true and also, Igo has to see that it's that the combination would be maybe draw uh, now because she, she probably yeah. knew that before it she couldn't take the combination, so she has to had to see that it could be now. Maybe she forgot. You never know. So exactly yeah, yeah, taking yeah. risks maybe. is um, a part of our sport. <laughs> Yeah, of course, of course. So probably she checked once that it didn't work, second time that it didn't work, and now it's a draw. So we can uh, see how, but uh, fortunately she didn't take <laughs> it. So now I have to, uh, of course, uh, give back. If I if I put a king, then there is an easy sticky move. Yeah. And of course it's, it's a draw. I have to capture the majority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have to give back. And uh, yeah, I cannot, I cannot put the king uh, immediately because there is this sacrifice and this. And yeah, I, I cannot do anything actually. So that's why uh, maybe she didn't see. Uh, yeah, maybe I, I guess she didn't see this move because yeah, you look normally at, at this yes. one. And of course, you cannot do this because I capture like this. 
So maybe she didn't see the sacrifice, which, uh, okay, it's, it's not that easy to see, let's say, if you don't have enough time and uh, it was the 14th game of the yeah. championship, so you're also not in a great shape, let's mm -hmm. say. So, okay, it wasn't that, that easy, let's say, so she, fortunately, she didn't take it, she, she attacked. And now I have a, quite a big advantage already. Mm, so she chose to, to break through like mm -hmm. this, but actually she cannot uh, put a king easily. So she gave me one piece, I make a simple exchange, she goes here and I just uh, make a move like this. So you can see that uh, she cannot put a king because I just make one for one. Yeah. Uh, so she waited one move. I played here so that uh, she has no good moves because, again, if she puts a king, I have one for one. Mm -hmm. And even if she sacrifices, yeah, okay, she had to sacrifice some piece, but uh, you see that everywhere she has to give two pieces. So the best option, of course, was to give one piece. Mm, and then she put a king. And now, yeah, for me, the decision was uh, quite simple. I just uh, gave away my piece and I catched, uh, caught her king. Mm. And I go quickly for the breakthrough. And now I made a very serious mistake. So she goes here and we can see that the position is four against three. Yeah. But actually, I go to, to three kings and it's easily winning position. So now, of course, uh, the winning move is to go to the main line. So mm -hmm. uh, like this, she, she puts a uh, king, uh, doesn't matter where, let's say here. And I have to hide my king, let's say, to some uh, safe field. And... I will go to the second king and soon to the third king. I will eat this piece and it will be four against two and uh, easily winning position. But I also I was also tired and I even forgot that after this she will just offer a piece and go to the main yeah. line. So, so I was too late uh, with one tempo and what it means. It means that we will have the the known endgame anti scoop. Oh yes. Yes, yeah, so we will show to the to the viewers. Probably most of them uh, know this endgame, but uh, yeah, it can happen in in all games. And uh, we know according to all books and theory that uh, this endgame is uh, is a draw because this piece would have to stand on this field and then it's winning. If it's uh, one uh, one field farther, then uh, it's a draw, like like in this position. So still, I won the draw is position. So le <laughs> let's see how. So I put the second king. Of course, uh, I I realized that it's a draw, but I also knew. Okay, let's try something because you need to win, right? It's a world championship. You need this this win to to become. Uh, second in the <laughs> just in the top three, let's say in the of the championship. So it's funny because uh, one year before, or even it was like a few months before, we had Polish championship uh, men um, just open, let's say Polish championship open, and uh, Damian Reszka was uh, was having the same end game against uh, Leon Mikulic, another uh, Polish uh, Polish uh, player, and uh, Damian also had this uh, drawish position, but but he also tried, and then then he won because uh, he he trapped this guy into this. Uh, Mm, in this end game and I was uh, playing just same moves because I was watching this game live and I knew what I can still uh, make in this position, what I can still try and uh, it worked actually. So what's the, the most important thing? Okay, now we're just playing. I'm moving with this piece and of course the most important thing is that uh, when I'm playing this move, you always have to play on this field. Yeah. 
and it's and it's uh, always a draw. And for example, if uh, if now you would play this, then it's a losing move because I go here, and now you have uh, no tempo because if you play here, of course, I catch like this. If you play here, of course, I catch like mm -hmm. this. And if you play somewhere else, like like here, then I catch like this. So it's very important. It's all about the, this one tempo. But this thread she she saw, she she knew that, so she played correctly. So now uh, in my head, it's like okay, last chance. Just uh, the only the last trap. I I know in this position. Let's try. It's my it's my last chance. So I play here. She just she's just playing uh, with the king from five to forty six. So I was also like playing quickly like this. And now it's my last chance. If she goes to five, then I'm winning the game. If she goes to let's say twenty eight, then I'm offering a draw because it's just a draw. So she's playing here. And I make this move, and then I see her face, <laughs> and uh, we both know what it means that she she made this mistake because of course now you have to play somewhere, let's say here, mm. and if I go to uh, to nine, then uh, just these traps uh, don't work because you're in time to go for the second king. Yes. And yeah, so she played here. I played this. And if you if you play here, then I think you have few ways to win. You can go like this, for example, and after this, you just go here, and it's and it's over. So it means that after four nine, you have to go somewhere. And now I'm in time to build uh, this uh, these traps. So you have to leave the the main diagonal, and of course, it's over. So. I took the main diagonal, yeah, and she, she lost like this. She attacked the piece, but it doesn't matter. Of course, now it's losing because now I make uh, four kings. So so you see, like, uh, mm, I worked well during this game. I, I got the winning position because, uh, let's say, uh, in this moment, like in this move, of course, it was winning for me. It was enough to play on the main diagonal, then hide the, the, the king and it's over. So I made the mistake, uh, but uh, we were both tired. And uh, that's the, the beauty of drafts, let's say, of any sport actually, that we all make mistakes, even on a high level. And uh, yeah, this game, as I said, was very meaningful for me because uh, I finished in uh, top three in in China, and uh, thanks to this game, this end game, uh, I could play the the match next year against uh, Olga Kamishleva, the world title match. So that was uh, yeah, very very crucial moment in my whole career, I would say. Yeah. Well, it, uh, yeah, you have to be lucky sometimes, and you were because you kept fighting, and um, I think that's. Uh, exactly a beautiful thing about our sport yeah yeah L luck is very very important yes. and sometimes it is yes. your opponent has to make a mistake otherwise you can't win yeah yeah especially at the end of the tournament when we are all tired and uh, not really in a great shape you still have to look for uh, chances and uh, still uh, still just believe in yourself yes. and fight for the for the last point so yeah that's very very important I see. Uh, I see in the chat. yeah uh, how many and which end games have you got memorized um yeah i i don't know the the exact number but of course i i selected uh, the most important end games let's say four against two uh, which are quite uh, difficult to win uh, w when you have uh, the piece on 25, 15, 35 and so on. So uh, I always refresh them. Like I have a database with, uh, with these end games and uh, before uh, every like important tournament I refresh them because I know that uh, it's very important. It's not enough to 
to solve them like uh, once uh, per year or, or something like this. It's it's very important to come back to them and uh, just just refresh. So I guess uh, I have like yeah 40, 50 of such such end games. So I hope that answers your question. Um, I saw another question on which date should I start to learn drafts to the girl. I think that's a question directed more to uh, me too um at what age at what age can a kid learn to uh to play drafts well i think most kids can start really young around six or seven if they are um motivated to learn something you can start really young um but at every age you can start you can start at 12 to you can start at 20 even um so i think something like that what do you think? Yeah, yeah, but but to 20 probably <laughs> then it's only for a hobby. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, okay, maybe it's possible uh, if you work really, really hard, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm playing uh, drafts already like uh, 24 years probably. Uh, I started when I was uh, when I was seven, eight, something like this, and uh, I still know how much I don't know, yes. <laughs> how much I can still learn and so on. So, of course, uh, yeah, I, I think, as you said, the best age is uh, between uh, six and eight. Yes, I think so, too. Yeah, if you want to really uh, be talented and achieve something like yeah. Natalia did, then you have to start really young. But if you just want to play as a hobby, then you can you can start whenever you want. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think it's time for us to move on to the next game. Okay. Uh, which game? The game against Jofa. Yes, it will be. Yes, against uh, Jean-Marc Jofang. Uh, uh, it was also 2015, and actually, this game uh, is showed as my not the best game, but I mean. Uh, He's a grandmaster, yeah. and he was uh, second uh, at the World Championship men. Mm, so this is my best result, let's say. Not, maybe not the, the best game, but of course uh, best result because uh, uh, I beat uh, grandmaster. So it's very important in uh, in each career, I would say, to to beat some grandmaster, and I'm really proud of it. And maybe it was also. Mm, I guess it was also important uh, for my career that uh, I knew that uh, at that age and at that moment in my life I could already uh, beat some grandmaster. Mm -hmm. So so that was uh, really good for for the self confidence yeah. and, and for the further development. So I guess that's a dream of uh, every player, not only yeah you know, women players, but. Uh, just for every developing player to, to beat some grandmaster. But we will not uh, watch the, the whole game. We will jump uh, to the move uh, 33 to be quicker. Uh, I want to show just the most important moment. Uh, OK, so now I think uh, so the position is like this. I'm playing with uh, with white. And now I think he made a first uh, mistake. Um, he played 2024, 20, which allowed me to play uh, to 28. And then I could easily uh, control the second wing. So here he should have played uh, 1923. I cannot uh, exchange uh, backwards because there is, let's, let's see, because there is an uh, easy combination uh, 243 to the king. So I couldn't uh, exchange like this, so I would have to find uh, some plan here. And my position uh, is not a perfect one here. Uh, maybe I would have to play something like, like this, if it's, if it's possible, probably it is. Uh, so yes, I, I don't know why he didn't play it. Uh, probably he had some different plans, so he played this. And uh, mm, I already knew that I can uh, have some advantage, some small advantage in the game. So I played immediately 28. 
he attacked, I closed, uh, he played a normal move. Um, and now I exchanged because uh, first of all, this piece is uh, weak. Mm. And the uh, second thing, when we play the, the classical game, uh, it's important to control both wings. Yes. So uh, according to the plan, of course, this exchange is very logical. I also have a thread uh, of 2 for 2. Uh, so, for example, he cannot play this move because uh, I will make uh, 2 for 2 to the yes. king. Mm -hmm. yes. So he had to play 12-8. And now you can see that, okay, I have quite many pieces here. Mm -hmm. Uh, but as I said, I control both wings because yes. uh, soon yes. I will also play to 26. And he has a bad piece of uh, 15. I don't have uh, any weaknesses. Okay, I have 45, but uh, in this case it's not like a, a weakness because he also have many pieces on this wing. So this piece will, will even help me. So he played to 18. I went to the second corner, uh, he had to move uh, the golden piece, so you already see that, uh, yeah, I, I control everything and uh, he has only one plan actually in this position, to go 15-20, because I have no pieces here, and to make the exchange. So that was, he played four, I, I believe. I played this direction, of course, because if I play here, then he has this move and then I cannot play to 39 or 38 because he always has this uh, 2 for 2 what I said so like this this and of course uh, yeah it's it's losing for me so that's why I went this direction he played uh, 15 20 I played 45 and now um, he played uh, not not yet an losing move but uh, there is already some some serious mistake so he waited like this yes but he should have played yes. 24. now uh, i'm forced to take uh, the combination otherwise uh, he goes here and i have so many pieces on this wing so probably he didn't see uh, one sticky move here so i would take two for two and now the only drawish move for him is like this. So maybe in his calculation uh, he skipped this move. Yes. Maybe he didn't see. He maybe he thought. Of course. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, you have this. Too. Yeah. Yeah, and three to the king. So I don't know. Probably he. Uh, he just skipped this in in his calculation, so he he waited 8:13. Of course, I have only one move here, and here still uh, he should have played this one. I would give one piece, then two, and uh, if I capture here, then he has this sticky move. And unfortunately, I have two kings, but it's still a draw because uh, yeah, I'm too far, and and this piece will go to the second king, and I cannot stop it. Mm -hmm. So probably it would be a draw if I capture like this, then he goes to the king like this, and uh, yeah, just there is also also nothing. Then I I cannot also stop him. So. It was the, the last chance for him to, to make a draw like this. Mm -hmm. mm, but he exchanged two for two. Mm, and now it looks like I, I make a breakthrough and he also does it. But actually it's not that easy. So now I take the piece. He goes logically 16-20. I capture, he goes here. And it looks like he will uh, take this piece mm -hmm. because uh, I have no defense. And he will also go to the king, but it's it's not that easy. So I will sac I sacrifice the piece and I go here. And now, of course, he cannot attack immediately, like anywhere, because I will put a king, of course, and I will capture these pieces. So this is not possible. So he had to wait one move. And now uh, I had a choice or to put a king or to sacrifice a piece. And... Uh, Probably I didn't choose the best variation because uh, 
maybe this was even better. If I put a king, uh, he plays this. I thought it's it's a draw, but he goes here and I play with the king like this. He cannot put a king here and here because I, I catch it easily. Mm, but he would sacrifice and put the king here. And I wasn't sure whether it's it's winning or not because all my pieces are in the center. And there is even one uh, nice uh, sacrifice. If I go here now, of course he cannot uh, play like this because I, I will move with the king mm -hmm. here. But now he can sacrifice one piece, another one, and attack. And uh, the only one, of course, is, is to close, and then he comes here. And it's five against two, but uh, I can do nothing. So, uh, because he always sacrifices, yeah, this is the best move, of course. And uh, he sacrifices yeah. a piece, and it's always three against one. So, that was uh, one variation. Okay, yeah. maybe if not this move, maybe I can wait somewhere else, like... Uh, First this, mm -hmm. and maybe still there are many chances to win this game, but I didn't go for this variation, so I uh, <clears throat> I sacrificed the piece. Before we move on to this I variation, maybe you can answer another question. Um, I see yeah. in the chat Yuri Anikeev, which is of course a great player, Grand Monster yeah. even, so it's... Uh, Big honor for uh, that that he is uh, watching us. Um, he asks which part of the game, uh, opening, middle, or end game, do you like more, and in which do you play better? Mm, yeah, the most uh, the most important for me for sure is the middle game, and what I play the best. Hmm. Yeah, th there were times that my coach said that I'm good at the, the end games. Also, my former coach, uh, Ivan Antonienko, also said that few times that I'm good at the end games. But at the end games, you have always a lot of pressure, also not, not uh, so much time, and there is always a lot of stress. So I also make mistakes there. But uh, I'm, I was always quite uh, good in the calculations in the end games because uh, at some time I solved a lot uh, end games and I put uh, a lot of time for, for this training so I like the middle game but uh, yeah what I'm best at it it's it's hard to say I, I hope end games are, are fine for me but uh, I make mistakes also there as like everyone. Yeah, but end game is of course one of the most important parts of the game because that's where the result is uh, being made. Yes, yeah, of course, it's, it's very important. <clears throat> and if you have no time then you know, even when you have a great position you can uh, yeah, lose it yeah. like uh, easily. Yeah. So, so time management is also very yeah, important. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, so coming back to the game, I uh, didn't go for this variation. I sacrificed the piece and I thought that it's an easy win. And actually, yeah, you can see he gave me this piece. Uh, he went farther. I tried to stop this, uh, this piece, so he had to sacrifice another piece. And he went to the king. And now I made this move and he gave up because in the next move I just make an easy one for three and probably he haven't seen this. So if he plays for example this, I just give a piece and I take three and it's over. But what I wanted to say and yeah, we both seen this variation but now there is a draw by playing this move and I also skipped this in my calculation I remember because uh, yeah, I, on, I only looked uh, at this at this move, but according to, to computer, that was an easy draw. Okay, maybe not that easy, but uh, this piece, you can see that he will always attack this piece. And yeah, it's may, maybe there, there are still some, some chances, but uh, it's, it's not that easy to do anything because I also cannot go with, uh, with this piece to the second king. So there were some, some chances for him to, to make a draw, 
but yeah, I was I was very happy that uh, at that time, at that age, uh, I could uh, beat the uh, first grandmaster yeah. in my career. Yeah, so you see, even grandmasters make mistakes. Yes, of course. Do you have a uh, general advice uh, or of how you play against stronger players? Yeah, it's uh, it's very hard to play against uh, grandmasters uh, because you, you know in general that they are better and they they calculate better and so on, but. Uh, it's important to to not play uh, only for a draw to to try to to make something and i still learn that uh, this year i i lost unfortunately quite many games again against grandmasters which i sh shouldn't lose uh, but uh, yeah there is no like uh, one general rule just uh, you need to try also beat them because uh, they also make mistakes that's it they are also not the uh, perfections, so I think like like, like like every of us, we are just humans, not computers. So, well, I think it's yes. great advice. If I play against the grandmaster, I'm always really nervous. So, uh, I will keep this in mind. <laughs> yes, yeah, but th they should be nervous because they have to win, you know. So that's the advantage of the, of the lo lower rated players let's say that uh, we don't have to win they have to win so yeah that's true yes. maybe uh, on that note we can go to the next game yes yes we will go of course so uh next the uh, game uh is also very important in my career uh it's 2016, I became a first time uh, world champion mm -hmm. mm, and it's a third, it's a third uh, game of the match uh, against Olga Kamishleva. So first the game I won, second we played draw and third game I also won, which already gave me quite big advantage in the match. Uh, but that was also a good uh, positional game. Mm. So the opening we will go uh, quickly. Uh, I my, my goal was here just to to go to the center. So this uh, this attack is quite logical because I go to the center. She has the the weak piece already on twenty six. Okay, I have one weakness five, but uh, I was like uh, I will just develop these pieces here. Here I will build all of formations and and should be fine. So um, we built our positions and now uh, I think that was the first uh, mistake of Olga. Like I didn't understand the just the direction of this of this move and this plan to play in this position here. Of course, it was uh, much easier and much more logical to play just here. I would build and probably she would uh, have to exchange like this. Yeah. And it's an equal position. OK, she has uh, the piece on 26, but I have uh, my problem also here. Yeah. The, the piece of five is also very ugly. It should be on four and then it's then it's OK. But on five, I have some uh, some problems here on the wing. So, of course, she should have played like this, but uh, she played uh, not really understandable move for me. Now it's uh, quite easy for me. I just uh, built my formation and I make an easy exchange. <clears throat> so, of course, she helped me with that move because now I can develop my weak piece of five uh, and I went to the center easily. So yes. I have yes. all nice formations. She made the exchange like this. I played 510. It's a small inaccuracy. Of course, it's uh, better to go 1923 because uh, I gave her the opportunity to exchange uh, backwards, but she didn't do that. So we played farther. And now, yeah, now I played 1620, which is uh, very logical because she doesn't have uh, this formation, right? Yes. She's, she's quite yes. far. Uh, and you can see that she has so many corner pieces mm -hmm. like here, here, and her center is uh, quite empty. So yes. it was uh, an easy decision for me just to go to 27. And now, uh, now you can see my position. I have uh, totally no uh, these edge pieces 
corner pieces mm -hmm. and she has uh, a lot of them so um, so yeah that's much much easier for me of course to to play yes. Uh, yes. Uh, now I built another great formation so my here my position looks almost uh, perfect I would yes. say I have no weaknesses the, the columns are everywhere so I have many just possibilities in this position uh, she plays here and yeah now I had to make some decision which direction to go which which plan to take because of course it, it's nice but you have to move forward to you have to develop your pieces some direction so I decided that I will just take uh, tempos so I made one exchange she played and then I took another exchange so of course I took uh, extra for uh, tempos Mm, now she cannot, what's important, she cannot exchange like this, because I have uh, 2 for 2. Mm, yeah, maybe we can show this, this, I would take 2 for 2. And yeah, and uh, if she plays 48, then I exchange like this. Okay, maybe maybe it's it's equal, but uh, yeah, actually I don't know. Ah, okay, sorry, I gave. Uh, I knew that there is something wrong. I should have given okay. like this. Yes, now it's uh, it's a difference. Yes, now it's winning. Yeah, now it's now it's much better because she's very late with the with the column and mm -hmm. she she cannot exchange easily this piece. So. Uh, going back, it was like this. Yes, now I wanted to um, push her back again. Yes. So now, or she has to play one for one backwards, or she has to exchange two for, for two. She went for two for two, and I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe this was uh, better. But still, it's already. You can see that it's already quite hard position for for yes. white. So she went two for two and uh, I think it was worse because again you have so many pieces here and you can see that the center is totally empty. So I was, the decision here was uh, of course uh, simple, I just control the, the field 27, she develops her pieces, I develop, uh, maybe here it was better just to go immediately to the center because even if she if she plays here and exchange backwards it's always like going backwards so it's uh, always good for me so i play this this all moves are logical mm -hmm. just to the to the center i control everything and i think now i exchange backwards i knew that uh, during the game in this position, I, I could already feel that it must be winning somewhere. Yeah. Uh, but because, yeah, you can see that the position is uh, very, very good. You, you control everything. Uh, and I knew that it's a world title match. So it was like, come on, Natalia, yeah. focus, just find it. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't choose the easiest path to win because the easiest one is I play, I exchange backwards, but the easiest one is like here. Uh, you have to play, of course, with white like this. Mm -hmm. Then we attack. The only the only move is uh, to play to 30. Now I just wait. Uh, you cannot, of course, exchange backwards because then I will have one for two. Yes. So it's also not possible. So the only move is this one. Now I exchange backwards. Again, you cannot exchange. Uh, you have no this move, so oh, sorry, this 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 you have because after after this you have this sacrifice. Yes, this this and you attack. So that's why this move was still possible. But now you just attack and you play here, and that's it. It's uh, seven against seven, but it's uh, totally yes. over. But in the game, I chose a uh, more difficult way, but it was winning, fortunately. So I exchanged backwards. Uh, she played this. I go here. 
moves are quite forced. Yes, and here she sacrificed the piece. So so here I already was like, oh my God, for sure is it winning? So here I also spent some time to calculate everything. Uh, so I played this, but probably also this is winning because I have this end game. So but this, this yeah this this i uh, this i skipped in my uh, calculations i uh, i calculated something else and it was also winning uh, fortunately mm, so i played this uh, now you can see that there are a lot of gaps and it looks like uh, the draw must be somewhere but fortunately that there is no draw i remember that i spent a lot of time to make sure that uh, she cannot sacrifice some pieces and uh, make a draw so she gave uh, the piece i uh, i captured here and uh, but maybe this one is also winning she would go here i would go here to like this and it's uh, five against yes. three and okay you, i have pieces uh, like somewhere in the middle of the board but if i'm playing uh, uh, carefully then then it should be still a winning position but i captured like this i went to the king like this and now yeah i saw this posi position in my mind that i can sacrifice two pieces and you can see that uh, it's three against four but uh, i checked uh, all these moves so i play here now of course she has only one move she has to sacrifice and like this and i think uh, olga already thought that it's a draw because it seems like i have to play like this but then of course she sacrifices the piece and now it's a draw, yeah. but uh, yeah. fortunately I have this attack and I play this. Yeah. So that's I, I won uh, the game and uh, yeah, that was that was also very important because because I was already like one step closer to the to my first uh, yeah. world champion title. Yeah, really amazing that you won uh, because Olga is of course an amazing uh, player too. Um, she's a woman, of course, just like you. Um, and I have a great question here from Anikeev. Is it easier for you to play against men or women, like psychologically? Mm, yeah, it depends uh, on the tournament. In general, it's much easier to play against men because, uh, especially against uh, grandmasters. Yeah, not only in general against men because uh, against men I know that uh, I have uh, no pressure and so on. Against women, it's harder because uh, I'm currently number one in the rating, so it's always like uh, I also demand from myself more that uh, against women uh, I, I should win mostly the games. Uh, and I know that it's not uh, not that easy because uh, uh, many many women are very strong, so it's not easy to beat them, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, yeah, so of course I prefer to play uh, against uh, men, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I have also many tournaments when I have to play against uh, women, and I do that, and uh, I'm still winning somehow so so that's good but uh, i have less tension let's say when i play against yeah men. i get that i am uh, i i experience the same well i don't feel pressure to win uh, from every every woman but i also yeah. find it easier to play against men maybe it's also because we're used to it because there are so many men uh, that we have to play against too yeah um, yeah maybe um i can do some promotion again uh, of course we play against a lot of men but we we would want to uh, get used to playing to women too so um everyone here you can uh, take a look at uh, my website droomdumpsters.nl i uh, have an organization that promotes uh the uh, playing drafts for women and girls uh, i host a lot of activities 
uh, I think it's a great initiative, if I can say that for myself. Um, so everyone take a look. Also, um, keep watching this. We will take a short break. Uh, you can still subcri subscribe, I think, a uh, break of 10 minutes. And uh, then we will be back. Yes, so now we will go yes, for a I break. Think so. Okay, so we will be back at uh, 10 past 8, right? Yes, yeah, so uh, we'll see you then. Okay, so.
listen. Crying like some kind of ocean from my eyes. But I got up out of the hopeless. Yeah, I got over you last night. Wasn't it easy to believe I would be broken forever? Thought I would never see the light. You didn't need to. Wherever we go. They call us the conceiving dreamers. Deep and silent thoughts reach for a quest to the extreme. We have the true power to connect with everyone. We do not see as others. Day or night, we remain our unique selves. We befriend. Listen to the creative findings. We are close, far, but wherever we are, we unite, we learn, and also teach others, but most of all, it's fun, we are fun. Go with us on a magnificent adventure. Let's play. Yes, we're back. Um, I think we can uh, start with the combination that was on the screen in, during the break. Uh, yes, I'm curious whether someone managed to, to solve. Maybe uh, people on the chat can write the, the first move at least, the first three moves maybe, because otherwise it's, it's too easy. Yeah, that's a, a great idea. We have a bit of delay. Uh, the chat and uh, 
our stream, so we would have to wait a few moments. But um, do you know where this combination uh, came from? Yes, it's from uh, Ermiakov book, the, the black one with the eyes, probably you know it. Uh, yeah, I probably have it somewhere in my uh, bookcase. <laughs> yes. I think every draft player that's a bit serious has an enormous collection of books. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So, yeah. Mm, so we will still wait a bit, right? Yeah, we can wait. Just... If, if... Moments. Yeah, I see that. There Maybe we can, uh, in the meantime, uh, answer a question. Um, as someone who is promoting the game among girls, when will we see a women's world champion from the Netherlands or a woman qualifying for the national open final tournament? And which of these is a bigger challenge? It's an, a big question. <laughs> First, uh, when will we see a women's world champion from the Netherlands? Well, in theory, it can, it can happen in September. A girl from the Netherlands is playing the world championship, Lisa Scholtens. Um, so, as a Dutch uh, person, I hope she wins, of course. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think for a woman to qualify for the National Open tournament, that's uh, a bit harder. Uh, because it almost never happened and uh, yeah it's just the, the best players of the Netherlands and um, unfortunately because we have so uh, little women players um, we we're not uh, as good as them and not because women are weaker I can refer to a video of uh, also on this channel of uh, Esther van Meijen and Erik Scherder um, you can uh, watch that to uh, find out the answer if women are really worse at drafts. I can spoiler, it's not. Uh, no, no, we are we not. Are not. <laughs> um, in the meantime, uh, we have an answer. It's 44 to 40. Yes, yeah, so we can uh, quickly solve the, the combination. Of course, what I like, as I mentioned, is from Ermiakov book. And uh, this book, uh, uh, yeah, I have, let's say, good memories with this book because uh, before the World Cup uh, in Wageningen in 2013, I remember that I didn't train like a lot before this uh, tournament. But I solved uh, this book and it really helped me with the calculation and so on before the tournament, which I uh, won. Uh, so, so I would say probably thanks to this book at that time. Now it's of course not enough to solve only combinations, but uh, this 10 years ago it really helped mm -hmm. me. And uh, this this combination, what, what I like about the, the combinations that in most of uh, in most of these compositions, you just uh, give away all pieces. So like here, we give one piece, another one, third one. Then we give another two, then another two, then another two. And then we just play. So we just uh, give uh, literally everything what is on our board. Then he um, captures. Mm -hmm. We capture three. He captures and then we it all pieces from the board so uh, yes i think what i also wanted to mention the most difficult part about the drafts and about solving the combinations is the is the thing that from this position which we see now on the mm -hmm. screen that we have to imagine the last capture which is really really hard to see when all pieces are gone from the board and I remember when I talked to once with um, Vasily Ivanchuk, the, the very known chess player, and he also spent a lot of time for uh, for drafts, uh, trainings and so on. And uh, there was some time when I also sent to him uh, just drafts combinations. And then he wasn't, he said that he sees the combination, but uh, he's not able to to see the the final yeah. capturing like 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 it's uh, totally too difficult for him because in chess it's not like you have this position and then you have only two pieces on mm. the board uh, it takes more time of course because the capturing is not mandatory there and so on 
So uh, yes, yeah, uh, it's it's more, very a bit more slowly. Yes, yeah, you can show more slowly. So that's very very important in our sport just to to see uh, exactly the the final position, the final capturing. And I think it costs us also a lot of energy, mm. a lot of trainings, a lot of uh, hard work and in general that we have to solve uh, a lot of uh, this kind of combinations to, to see that from the position when it's 2, 4, 6, 8, then 14 against 14, then we have on the board after 9 moves uh, 1 against yes. 2. So. So that, that that's really that's the the most difficult part I, I would say in our sport yes. just to, to work on our imagination and that we we don't make any holes in our calculations in in this sort of uh, yeah, positions. Yeah, it's really difficult uh, because we now see on this board it has twelve pieces for both colors and we uh, in the end we remain with one king and two. Pieces. Yes, and you all you yes. have to see that all in your head. It's really difficult. Yeah. Uh, but also and so beautiful. Yeah. Um, maybe we can uh, go on to the next game. Yes, of course. Uh, so the next one will be quite short. Uh, I will turn. Okay, so I played against uh, Fritz Lutein, so international master from the Netherlands. It was during uh, Her Hugovart Open in 2014, actually. But 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 let's jump to the move 33. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to talk a bit about this position. You so uh, yes, I played mm -hmm. black. Uh, so the the position is uh, quite equal, I would say, but uh, I had a nice plan here, which uh, fortunately uh, worked for me. So I wanted to play for a combination, and I and I saw that uh, all his moves, which I want to make for him, are quite obvious. So let's see what I wanted. I attacked, which is a quite logical mm -hmm. move. And now, now for for white, uh, yeah. Which which move is logical for for you, Nicole? For white. Yes. Oh, now you put me to, to the test. Um, yes. Uh, just blitz. If you would play blitz. If or... I would play blitz, I would. Yes, I would probably just. Uh, um, I would freak out and just play forty-five forty. I think if. Okay, so, so you would play probably a better move that was in the game. In the game was uh, 31. Uh, but it, it seems also logical because you also like control my wing mm. and, and so on. You don't allow me for, for some moves like 6-11. So he played this. I uh, played 8-12. Uh, now, what is the logical move? Like 43 yes. probably, yes. right? Yes, because you want to make uh, this column, this 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 formation of these uh, three pieces. So, uh, and another thing is, if, if you play this one, then you never can can go like uh, on on this field. So this move seems to be logical. I played seven eleven, and now which move is logical for white? Um, I think it makes sense to. Well, I I hate the piece on thirty six. That's uh, I don't yeah. like this structure. Yes. yes. Um, and I'm not sure how to fix it. Really, I think I would still um, maybe we can. Uh, the, what about what happens after this? That's, yeah, this is this is also not uh, possible. Mm -hmm. I think so I can I can make yeah. this because I have uh, the tempo will be for yeah, me. You have to capture to three pieces. Yes, and I have this. So uh, here I would win like yes. this. But he he played forty two because as as you said, this uh, formation is ugly. 
So he wanted to, to help somehow and here I prepared the combination for him because I was hoping that it will go this direction. <laughs> so I gave one mm -hmm. piece, I gave another piece and usually you also check this one. But now I changed the direction and okay. I gave this piece. So, so this is kind of a coup royal. Yes. But mm -hmm. then more hidden. But it was, yes, it was quite quite hidden because uh, I have more holes than than White has, mm -hmm. let's say. So of course, in this position, he should have played forty five, which is also like you can see, not really nice formation for for White because he has quite many uh, weaknesses, I would say, because these pieces are like uh, hanging mm -hmm. pieces. Uh, the lack of piece 43 is visible, so I was hoping uh, he, will, he will not uh, make this one, otherwise it's probably a draw, maybe some small advantage still for me, but uh, I just was hoping for this move and then I just made uh, this. So, uh, yeah, the, the plan was, was nice, I played uh, for this like few moves and I was hoping he will, he will follow my path. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> and he followed, so, so that it's was always nice. nice. Yes. Okay. Let's uh, let's yes. jump to Can the. Me, I want to say something uh, too. Uh, every viewer can still, uh, after they subscribe to this channel, of course, uh, comment in the comment section. I will uh, look at the chat a few times and try to answer some questions. Um, Draft ten times ten is the name of this channel. You can also uh, make a donation for us so we can uh, keep doing these masterclasses. Um, and also I want to promote Drome Dumpsters again, uh, my organization that promotes uh, drafts for women and girls. And um, we host many activities and it would be really nice if you support us. Just, so uh, take a look at our website. You can uh, see it down below in the caption too. So um, yeah, I think that's it. We can um, continue with the next game. Okay, so next game is from the Polish Championship Open, not women, but, but mm -hmm. Open, from 2017 against uh, Arleta Frisikowska, so also a uh, quite known uh, Polish drafts mm -hmm. player. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I also don't want to like spend a lot of time for the opening, but it's also quite, uh, so quite nice. I will be... Uh, quicker anyway. So this is uh, also quite often playable opening, mm -hmm. I think, uh, for, for both colors. Mm, so yes, yeah, so of course I played the outpost. Uh, I was hoping for, for some attack uh, in, the, in the opening and uh, I think in my database there are a lot of uh, uh, games in this variation. Mm -hmm. So she plays, of course, logical moves. I played this uh, here and here, yeah, here she exchanged, uh, which is uh, not like an uh, yeah, not like an often playable variation. Mostly people play uh, 1420. Let's say you can play with white this exchange. Then they come 10-14 and uh, and so on. So mostly it, it goes like this. Uh, but this time she exchanged here. So now I have uh, only one answer. I have to exchange two for two. Otherwise, yeah, she, she treads with this and I didn't want to allow mm -hmm. for this. So I exchanged two for two. And uh, uh, you have already something. Like, uh, first of all, Arleta has a weak piece on uh, 25 and her outpost is also quite bad because uh, you don't have any pieces behind and uh, just all pieces are quite far you mm. can see so this outpost is also uh, not really pleasant for her uh, it's like i can get more advantage of this outpost than than her so uh, she will she will soon exchange uh, Mm, to the edge this uh, this outpost so I also played a logical move I uh, built a formation mm -hmm. then she plays here I play here and of course she she knew that her outpost is uh, quite bad so she made uh, this exchange that I mentioned yes. 
okay. uh, I develop my pieces uh, as usual. This and now I go to to the center. Mm, she plays here, and now I I found an interesting move. Uh, I just play to twenty nine because uh, normally it wouldn't be a nice move because normally people could play this exchange and uh, always play around this uh, these two yes. pieces and uh, she would control these pieces somehow so normally i wouldn't like it but in this in this case of course it's not possible because i have this three for three so in this position i knew that uh, i already control something and of course what's also important about this move if she cannot control 20 immediately then of course i tread with the outpost mm -hmm. so i would have a center and the outpost, she would have the, the weak piece on 36, which I can, as we already know, which I can also use for some later on combinations maybe. So, uh, so yeah, so probably I surprised her a bit with, with that move. She played 1520s because she didn't uh, want to allow, um, allow me to put the outpost because 1420 was, was impossible. Uh, she played 1520, which of course is not a perfect move, and we can see that even without deep calculations, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, I just built a column, she has, she has to close it, because of course I tread uh, with a small combination, she has to close it, and uh, yeah, she, she decided to play that, she thought that probably it's, it's okay, but... Uh, in the game, uh, it was clear that, that this was a bad, uh, bad decision for her, that she, she couldn't like lock me uh, and keep this position. I just uh, forced her to go to 36 and uh, I just simply built uh, all formations <coughs> like this. And yeah, now maybe, maybe she could play 14, 19 I would uh, build my formation like this and here there is small exchange like this 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 and this uh, but of course this position is is better for me because uh, you can easily see that I will uh, I will control the the field 24 let's say something like this maybe she can try to to exchange but anyway uh, it's it's much better for me because she has uh, totally no pieces on this wing and it looks quite dangerous so she didn't go for this variation she just played 11 16 and of course now you can see that i'm uh, like strongly yes. in the center uh, so i cannot like uh, go farther Mm, but I just make a simple exchange uh, and I will explain uh, what advantages it, it gives. So I just make a, uh, an exchange two for two. And first of all, of course, I have uh, some, some easy threads. So she has to think or to close this field or to close this mm -hmm. field. And what's important, I also opened the way for this combination, right? Because she has already the piece on 24. I have... Uh, this formation so it will be always possible to to make a combination for example this i play this and she cannot never make this move for 10 or for yes. nine because i just make i make a uh, this sort of a combination uh, uh, and this is what we mentioned that uh, when we play a game against this piece then we have to always look for combinations and these kind of, of games are actually quite uh, tiring, uh, hard for, for both sides because we need to be careful all the time and so on. So Arleta played 14-19 and of course uh, it's, uh, I would say it's a first serious mistake because now what we, what we said before, she cannot uh, never make uh, make these moves so she cannot never I, I mean i will try to play like this with white that i will not not make it possible that this piece will come here yeah. so of course uh, that was the logical move that i will keep uh, my combination she plays like this i play here and my second plan is uh, okay i already know that i control this piece and this combination will always work mm -hmm. for me so now my plan was just to control uh, this wing so i played here with the idea to exchange here and to have another thread 
because you can see if I remove this piece, then my combination will work again. So she played to to seven. Uh, <laughs> other moves are not really possible, I think. Yeah, okay, 8.13 is possible, but it doesn't give anything. So 2.7 is like uh, logical. I made the exchange. Mm -hmm. So now I have, of course, the, the thread of this, this and yeah. this. <clears throat> Still 4.9 is not possible because of the same combination. If you attack, then probably I'm just winning like this. I don't see. Maybe also this move is possible. Because I still, for me, the most important is to keep all the time this combination. Yeah. So still, yeah. this is not possible and this is not possible. So that's a, a big, big advantage. So she played to seven. I exchanged. She played seven, eleven. Now, of course, logical move. I still keep the combination. She attacks. I play here. She plays 8.13. And now I just make a simple exchange. And from that moment, maybe already a few moves before, it's uh, everywhere winning all the time. So this position is like forcing. Thanks to, or actually because of that move, of Arleta's move, which was, which was really... Um, responsible that, that she stood on this field uh, thanks to this move uh, i just won this game i think so i just make a simple exchange two for two and i play here and you can see that uh, she has only two pieces to play and uh, the all these pieces are are not playing so i have also two pieces let's say to play but uh, the tempo is for me i calculated it so six eleven i play here to seven Mm, and now I made a mistake, which was drawish. Uh, so it, it's it's funny to see that, but um, but she also didn't didn't see it fortunately. So I played here because I, I thought it's like okay, just this, 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 and it's yes. over. So like this, 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 and this, and uh, yeah, still I have this combination, and uh, you can see that uh, you can you have no moves because after this, of course, I go to the king. So I thought it's like this, but now uh, uh, after twenty one sixteen, you can play for nine because uh, oh. you see, I, I was sure that I have I have this tempo. But this tempo doesn't work because if I make this combination now, then she has a contra combination and it's a draw. It's four against two, but uh, she will be like uh, quick with exchanging my piece. Maybe even here, I don't know what's better like this. Yeah, just just this because uh, I cannot put the king. I have to give my piece. So, so I missed... Uh, this this move i only saw that my combination works and i saw in this moment that this is the only move mm. for her but i didn't check that there is a contra combination fortunately arleta also didn't check so she plays this i played this this and uh, she gave up but okay <laughs> uh, despite this mistake it was still winning yes. of course only in this yes. moment i i wanted to to show the game and uh, more about the technical side mm -hmm. of this game so, of course, here this move was winning. Uh, she would have to play this, I would play this. And uh, the best for her would be to, to play the, the sticky move. And, yeah, just something li like this. But, of course, I have a king, uh, two pieces more, and the position is safe. So, so it would be still a winning so position. But yeah. We see again that it, uh, draws requires a lot of calculation. And, um, yes. Do you have some tips for our viewers how to improve their calculation skills? Uh, yes, <laughs> you have to train a lot. Uh, okay, for calculation, of course, uh, the the books of uh, Vatutin are are good. The um, even Rule I think mentioned about these books. 
the the old ones actually i don't know which year uh they were made at but uh mm, yeah they, they they have uh really good positions and you have the estimated time that you have to solve uh, some particular position and uh, it's not only that when you have written 25 minutes that you have to spend these 25 minutes it, it's even good when you just read this book so let's say you are tired of uh, solving by yourself so just put the position and uh, let's say take a look at the at the solutions and so on but uh, uh, there are just many great positions which are really practical and that's that's uh, most important about that book and uh, what else just uh, um, combinations probably yeah. they they help uh, they help with the uh, solid uh, calculation during the game. So there is never like one one rule because everyone has its own style and its own uh, way of trainings and so on. So for me, probably uh, just these books of Vatutin and combinations. Yeah. They have to uh, train to calculate really deeply. Into, yes. the, into the game and um, I often get the question when I talk to someone I uh, say I play drafts and they say oh but how many moves do you uh, think so uh, how far do you think uh, mm. do you have an answer do you know how many moves we can see Mm, oh, yeah, because of course also like in Poland many journalists uh, ask me uh, about that. So I uh, tried to find some number, then I looked at some positions what I was able to find in the game and, and so on. So I can uh, honestly say that I am able sometimes to calculate uh, 10 or 12 moves like uh, ahead and it's... Uh, I think it's it's an honest answer. I know that grandmasters uh, uh, can do even more, like 15 or even 20. It, of course, it depends on the position, because in the opening you don't do mm -hmm. that, right? When you have 18 pieces, you don't calculate uh, 15 moves ahead. But uh, when, when it's... Uh, when on the board you have 8 pieces or something, and then you calculate positions uh, to the king and so on, and you have many forced moves, then of course it's much easier. And it's possible to to even calculate more than 10 moves. Yes. I also saw another question. Um, which draft player do you like to watch? Do you have one player which style you really like? Mm, I don't know if there is one, but uh, in the past I like to watch uh, games of Georgiev, mm -hmm. of course, because uh, you couldn't predict uh, his his moves at all, and uh, uh, you always had to think what he was thinking of during uh, this and that yeah. move. So, of course, Georgiev. Uh, I also like uh, Schwarzman's style because he's also quite uh, sharp and aggressive in his games. Uh, Baliakin at, at some time, I think I also liked his games, so I think this one's okay. mostly. That's, uh, of course, we know in many worlds uh, people have an idol, and we can have it too, of course, with draws players. Yeah, of uh, course. I see another nice question. Natalia, do you have a special yeah. preparation routine before a comp competitive game? Uh... I think uh, it's always uh, during during tournaments in general. I like to have uh, same uh, let's say schedule of the day, same style. So I like to eat breakfast at that time, eat uh, lunch at that time, listen to this music, take a shower at that time. So it's like uh, and same for the games. Like uh, I treat my opponents uh, uh, at the same same level so i pre i prepare just the same i always watch the the games of my opponent i i know what i want uh, i know which opening mostly i want uh, i i try to look for some weaknesses of my opponent and uh, that's it so so my preparation is mostly this of course during world championship women it, it's more 
uh, it's deeper and much harder, but uh, but mostly I keep it on the same level for everyone. Nice. I think uh, many players have the same routine. Uh... Yeah, yeah. It, it's really nice to have a routine because it, it helps you. And uh, I always uh, uh, laugh to my friends and so on that uh, during the tournament, I don't know what is the date. Uh, like uh, if someone has a birthday, I always forget <laughs> about it. Like. I forget about the whole world during a tournament. It's only a tournament. If people text me about some different things, uh, just uh, I'm always out of the normal world, yes. let's say. Yeah, I recognize that as a, a lower level player. It just yeah, but sucked it's the, into an all other, an all whole lot of other world. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like when we are during a tournament, just. So we always focus yeah. only on drafts and we forget about everything and I think that's uh, that's good and that's nice. Yeah, I it. think so too. Maybe we can uh, move on to the next game. Yes, so this is also, yeah, it won't be that the whole game, it will be just... Uh, mm, okay, I played with black and let's jump to the move. Uh, 31 probably so this is a, a quite interesting position i yeah, i played against uh, victoria motrichko it was 2014 we played in china i think it was a rapid game mm, so uh, as you can see uh, victoria has the whole center mm. which looks nice quite decent uh, and so on and the ice around and uh, my pieces are mostly on the at the corners, but it's fine. <laughs> Everything is under <laughs> control. So, so uh, after this move, I already had a nice sacrifice, but unfortunately, it's uh, it's just a draw because I could uh, I could sacrifice like this and uh, play here. And if she if she closes the gap, then I have something like this but yeah it's uh, it's a drawish uh, offer even i think she can play this yeah i guess she can she can make this move after this i'm looking for some combination but it's three for three and then i eat yes. this piece okay so so maybe maybe it would be slightly better for me if this move is uh, mm, it's not possible then i can uh, control this field so it was possible to play like this, but I had uh, another plan, uh, which was uh, quite nice and quite strong. And actually, uh, it looks like there is nothing in this position, but it's hard to, to fight, find some contra plan for, for white. So I'm just uh, making a simple exchange. Uh, she played here and now I played... Uh, yeah, just uh, tactically for, for some combinations. I played here. Uh, she trapped into, let's say, the most uh, easy combination in this position. She attacked mm -hmm. and I made the sticky move. She captured, I captured, she captured and I made the known yeah. combination. So I won like this, but I want to show uh, other variations in this position. So I played here. Um, so, if she would play this one, I have also the the same uh, motive of the of the combination. So I give one piece. Second, second. Yeah, I see that there. our board hasn't updated yet. Maybe we can. Oh. We'll just wait a minute until our technical staff fixes this. Okay. Do you have the sync on? Yes.
So they're still watching your position against Arletta. Okay. So, um, oh, but we sta it stopped or? Yeah, I'm not sure, but we can uh, in the meantime talk about something else. Well, uh, it's, oh, we can see now. We can okay. see now. Okay. Then we can continue. <laughs> Maybe you can um, show the f f combination. Yeah, I will, I will show it show it again. Of course, uh, I'm just wanna I just wanna make sure that it works. So yeah, it yeah we can see now. Okay, so yes, so I will now it's okay. Good. So I will uh, show quickly again the the sacrifice. So Victoria played here. Uh, I could sacrifice this piece and play mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Now if she closes, then I have such an exchange. And yeah, as as we said, maybe maybe later on I can play this, but it's of course an equal position, uh, just just draw. So I wasn't really in interested into that, but I found a nice plan in this position. So I exchange backwards. Uh, Victoria made the logical move, of course. She also treads with a three for three to the field ten. So I played here and uh, yeah as i said victoria trapped into the the most easy combination in this position she she attacked so i made the sticky move she captured two i captured two and i made this uh, known combination i have one piece more and of course it's winning but if she would uh, if she wouldn't play her move but she would play like this which is also somehow uh, logical because she doesn't give me to play on the on the she doesn't allow me to play on the field 22 then I would have same uh, similar combination I give three four five and I capture six pieces yeah this this is also a nice uh, combination and of course I go uh, to the king mm, so it's six uh, six against six but uh, Yes, she, she cannot really stop me because I'm quite quick with the breakthrough and of course on this wing I have still uh, six and two so it's totally safe for me. Uh, she will never break through thanks to my pieces two and four. So that was the um, second thing in this position and when she plays the, the best variation here like 40-34 then I play to 22 and you can see that because of this mm -hmm. piece uh, or because of lack of the piece 49 uh, yeah her structures are like she's in the center but actually she's not in the center because she cannot do anything mm -hmm. with these uh, formations she, she doesn't have the most important columns in this yeah. position uh, so um, so yeah, so I played to 22 and what's what's important, she, she doesn't have this exchange which normally exists. She doesn't have this attack because I have, uh, oh sorry, because I have just a simple combination 2 for 4. Mm. So the only, the only move for her is like uh, 45. Now I will close it to not uh, make it possible for her to, to exchange. And let's see, if she exchanges like this, then of course I take piece uh, like this and it's and it's over. I have one piece more. If she goes to 35, then it's also nice. I can sacrifice a piece and play here. And you can see that she has no formations. The attack is uh, also not possible because, uh, okay, uh, I sacrificed a piece, so it will be equal, but I will attack and uh, her outpost will be really bad and uh, probably I will break through. So, um, 40, 35, this, this, this. If she waits, I can attack. And let's say this is the best variation. And uh, of course, according to computer, it's still mm -hmm. a draw, but you can admit that uh, no one would like to play this with oh. white, right? Like. Uh, yeah, may maybe, yeah, I guess this move, uh, I don't know, maybe it's not an obvious move, maybe I don't have to play it now, maybe it's still, if there are no combinations, there is some, but I think uh, it doesn't work, maybe I can still wait or 
just m many many possibilities so it was the only way for her in that yes. position just to to, ma to make a, a draw and the, as you can see she has the the whole center mm -hmm. it seems like no problems at all but but because of this hanging piece uh, she has a lot of problems and of course uh, no control on this wing, what, what is very important, that I control uh, this wing with these pieces. So this position looked like a simple one, but actually there were many uh, nice ideas. Uh, okay, we can go uh, farther. Okay. Mm, okay, so the game uh, from uh, Lishui Open, uh, I don't know whether I can read the... <laughs> Uh, correctly, Odgon Bilek Bamba. I think uh, he's a international grandmaster. Probably uh, Yuri uh, Anikeyev will know for sure, but I think he has the the GMI title. Yeah, I will uh, see it mm -hmm. in the comments. Yes, so um, let's say I will also jump to the... because the, the game... Uh, by itself is also nice the the, the opening, but uh, it would take too long if you would uh, if you would look uh, at the whole opening. So I will just show um, some most important moments. So uh, the position is like mm -hmm. this. Uh, now, now of course I made a um, logical move just to to twenty twenty four because uh, I wanna control this uh, this field and of course there is no piece on two, so so I can easily do that even if if he plays for nine then I can uh, I can or close it or or still uh, wait because there are no threats actually. If there is piece on two then it's a different story of course, but in this case I can easily yes. do that. So what what he um, decided in this position was to sacrifice the piece and uh, attack like this, and uh, yeah, I I could uh, I could see that probably it will come in the game. So I just played here, and I made uh, two for two. Mm -hmm. uh, this piece looks maybe a bit dangerous that it's on twenty three, but uh, there is everything like. Uh, under control and I mean now I have one piece more because you have to remember that he sacrificed the, this piece first then uh, then I made one for two so now I have one piece uh, more and he has to take this piece back and of course uh, uh, he could do that but uh, I was hoping that he will make it in a in a wrong way mm -hmm. and uh, fortunately he, he made it in a wrong way so of course 813 is a logical move um, now I played 37-32 because I saw a, a nice trap in this position and now he should have played 13-19, I would have to close of course, now 19-24 and in the next move because uh, you can see that I'm way too far to, to yes. come here, so in the next move let's say I would play like this. He would take the piece and I have some advantage, but probably it's a draw. Of course, I, I will push because uh, I control uh, the, the central fields, but probably it's it's a draw. Yeah. But I was hoping that he will he will try to to take my piece like uh, faster, let's say, that he will come here. Yeah. So, of course, <clears throat> if he plays here, uh, if I if I exchange, then let's say if I exchange somewhere, then uh, he will just attack, and uh, and yeah, and it's it's equal. He will he will uh, take this piece back uh, and probably draw like always yeah. in drafts. But after, after this, I found a, a nice nice plan. I played here, and of course now uh, he's forced to go to twenty eight. Mm -hmm. Because after this, I have some uh, just a s simple win, and otherwise I just attack him first. So of course this is a forcing. He has to play here, and I I saw that he has so many gaps here that uh, <laughs> like like these three moves before I was hoping that he will go for this plan because actually this move uh, is not that uh, I don't know. I mean I saw that I can play for this combination, but I couldn't understand how to how to make it possible because he always captures backwards. And in, in that moment, I found that I can just uh, give two pieces now 
I play here, he has to capture, doesn't matter where, and I give like this. Yes. So, yeah, so that was uh, a nice uh, moment. Yeah, yeah, it was it was really nice that uh, he wanted to get his piece uh, faster, but sometimes you have to be more patient. So, so what I showed, he had to get this piece back this way and, and then this way. So sometimes in drafts, patience yeah, is also important. Is. And yes, he was very impatient. Yeah. He wanted to get my piece back <laughs> immediately and uh, I prepared a nice surprise for him. So. Uh, yeah, that was a nice I hear game. that uh, your opponent is uh, international master. So not grandmaster, okay. but still a strong player. So Okay, okay. Yes, I knew that he's a, a strong player from uh, Mongolia, but I, I wasn't sure about uh, his title. But okay, international master then. Uh, okay, uh, next. One comment? From Anikev, yeah. he says uh, something about the game against Motrichko. Uh, the same sacrifice like against Motrichko happened in the game Stepanov against Kogan. Uh, see the move 35 for people who are interested in that. You can take a look at the game. Okay, 35. Yes. Uh... I don't know what exactly. Yeah, the sacrifice uh, he talks about. Ah, okay. The this one from the beginning. Yeah, yes. yeah, because uh, yeah, because I I can imagine that uh, now she has all pieces like also here, but I can imagine that this uh, sacrifice works, uh, for example, when there is no this piece, for example, and then you you cannot do anything, exactly. right? Yeah, when you have uh, m more gaps in your position. So, so yeah, this sacrifice is, uh, is really nice. And I guess it works uh, also thanks to this formation on, yes. on the wing. So, yeah, it didn't happen for, for, uh, for me like in the games that often. And this game is from 2014. So, and I cannot uh, mm, remember that I had this position again uh, last year or something. So, it's a, it's a nice one, but uh, doesn't happen that often, no, I believe. I believe too. Uh, so yeah. we oh. can move on to your next uh, game. Okay, so uh, this is also, of course, a very uh, important game for me, because uh, thanks to this game against Zoya Goubieva, I was already like one small step from uh, winning a world title mm. match against her because it was probably the game number seven that, that I won. Uh, and I had uh, already the advantage in the points thanks to this game. So uh, yeah, it, it's very meaningful for me, but we will start from the move 33 because uh, the opening Actually, the opening wasn't that, that good for me. Uh, um, but yeah, but later on, just uh, it, it was equal. And we have the position now. And the position uh, looks very, very simple. Yeah. Like uh, the pieces even don't uh, touch each other. Like the position is totally open. Nothing is happening. And uh, I had the impression that uh, Zoya was thinking the same. Like, like... It's an equal position. Let's make a quick mm -hmm. draw, and uh, and maybe some people can think, okay, that even it's worse for me because I have the piece twenty six. But uh, it's not like this. In this position, I think uh, the piece on 20, 25 is uh, is good because uh, she has to also develop actually all these mm -hmm. pieces, and she has to find the way how to develop them. So she decided to exchange like this and i think that uh, it's quite a big mistake to exchange like this probably better was like this of course i can understand that she was afraid of the uh, <coughs> semi four o'clock yeah. am, am i am i right how it's in english uh, so yeah probably she she was afraid of this move or or even uh, or even about the the attack, then probably something like this. And uh, you can see that, OK, now I, I cannot uh, attack because there is, of course, 2 for 2. 
but uh, somehow she she didn't like to stand on the on the piece uh, on the field 29 and i could understand that that uh, now everything is uh, under my yeah. control like or i can play this or this or i can exchange uh, like like many mm -hmm. plans uh, but she captured here and of course this has also many disadvantages because so we can easily see that there are four pieces at the corner like four pieces uh, four edge pieces and uh, my position is very clear i have no piece 16 and uh, here i can i can choose the direction for the game so of course i didn't want her uh, to develop her bad pieces and to to put the outpost so i played immediately 2024 mm. uh, she made another like quite serious decision she exchanged here so we can see again that she has so many pieces so many edge pieces and only like uh, three pieces in the center let's say mm, so i could feel already in this position that i have some advantage and i only have to find the right way how to i still didn't know whether it's winning of course but how to how to push yeah. her and how to make it uh, not easy for her to to make a draw so my plan was just easy. I wanted to fight for the field 27, uh, especially when, when you look at the at the wing, which is really weak. And uh, on my wing, everything is developed well and it's safe. So I just play 611. She, of course, had to help this wing a bit. I played to 16 with the with the next plan to play here or or there. Depends what she plays. Uh, she played the outpost because, of course, she, she has to do something with all these mm -hmm. edge pieces. If she plays a simple move, then I just control 24. Then soon I will come to 27 and it's over like this. Like uh, she has no pieces to play. So, of course, she has to do something. So she exchanged here. Uh, I played to 22, which is very logical because uh, I want to play uh, here. I don't want to give her any control here so i played 22 she developed her pieces i play here now i put my outpost and uh, now what you can see that i have the outpost she she also has it but the problem is that uh, she has lack of pieces on this line so on these two lines like uh, her board is uh, Mm, shared into yeah. two parts, let's say. Here she has only two pieces and she has uh, five pieces like uh, on this wing. And of course, uh, it's not so stable. Like, she, yes, she, she cannot really connect these pieces. They are they are not cooperating with exactly. themselves. And th that's that's the, the biggest disadvantage of her position, I would say. Even though it, it looks fine that she still is somehow in the center, but uh, it's really problematic position for, for White already. Uh, she played here and now I also made a quite very important move that I played immediately here. Because uh, if I wait like a bit uh, somehow and, and then she goes here, then I allow her for some 2 for 2 or I allow her to, to come with this piece and... Uh, and capture again to, to 24. So that was very important moment that I stop her immediately and I force her to, to exchange backwards because of course, uh, if, she, if she plays like this, then probably I can attack and uh, I will easily go to 28 and it's also over. So so after, after this, she was forced to exchange, exchange backwards and I go again here. So I wanna push again and uh, of course my direction is uh, to take the most important uh, central fields so she played here i played here 45 uh, and now i played 12 8 which is correct and uh, 15 20 seems to be like yes. a logical move but there is some some funny draw like she plays this of course i'm forced to play here she closes i play here now she attacks and forced to play here. Now she plays here. Of course, she, she threads. So I'm forced to play here. And 
something like this and it's a draw so i have not like uh, no chances to win this position so so i already wanted to play this 15 20 because it looks like okay it's 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 finished uh, i block her but uh, in drafts, there is always like there is always one move which is still good or or something. So uh, and I knew that this position can be somewhere winning. So of course I, I put a lot of attention. I, I calculated a lot, and I decided to play this. Then she plays uh, here. I go logically to the center. Uh, she exchanges backwards. It's the only move at this position. Of course I go back uh, again to twenty seven. And now she made a losing move. So you can see that the position is five against five. And the only move, uh, the only drawish move in this position was 35. So if she would play, uh, if she would play 35, I play three nine here. And it's uh, hard to find something because she's always in time. I'm like uh, pushing, but she's in time to, to have also her breakthrough. So even though the position is, is good all the time and so on, uh, then yeah, there is always an, s some draw. And if, if I would, uh, I don't know, play like this, then, then probably she can still go here. I have to exchange backwards and still she goes with those two pieces uh, for the breakthrough and to the king. And I'm just not in time to, to stop her. So that was a big difference looks like no difference to play this or this but uh, yes yeah, she was also tired yeah. uh, it was our seventh game and uh, uh, and i know how how tiring are those uh, world title uh, matches so so yeah so she made the mistake that i was mm -hmm. waiting for so let's see how to win this position so she plays here i go of course with uh, with three she plays here, I go here, here. This is the, the important move because uh, yeah, she cannot attack easily because I have the, the sticky move and it's it's winning. So she has to play here. I attack, she played here, I go here, she stops me for a moment, I go, she sacrificed, and yeah, and now I I remember that uh, I was so stressed that I knew that it's winning, but I need to decide where. And uh, I decided for this position. And uh, of course, it's very simple, but during uh, important matches, important mm. games, uh, it's the most difficult to, to win the game, which is like easily yeah. winning, you know, when it's, when the stakes are really high and, and you know that, of course, when, when you win, then you're almost the yes. world champion. Then inside, it's everything. You you feel like you would have 100 degrees inside. The the heart is pounding, and there is so much emotions. Like uh, uh, when people just watch it um, online on the live stream and so on. It's like, come on, it's an yeah. easy move. It, it's so so easy to win. What to think about? And when you're sitting and playing there, and you play for the world title match, then no nothing like nothing is easy. So of course I spent some time to calculate uh, every uh, every move here. So I sacrificed. I play here. She played here. Yes, I just blocked uh, blocked those pieces, and I'm in time to to put the second king and sacrifice yes. like this. Of course she, she couldn't do anything because uh, yeah ev everything is blocked, but. Uh, yeah, it was it was very uh, crucial moment during this match to to, to win this game, and uh, of course, as you, as you could see, there is always some draw somewhere. But uh, when there are emotions, when people are, are tired, when there is a lot of tension, then uh, people always make mistakes because we are not yeah, computers. That's that's, that's, that's it, it <laughs> really. Yeah, yeah, we are not computers, and. Uh, yeah we can make uh, simple during this match actually against zoya in the first round i lost w w what is what is funny for me at the time it mm. wasn't funny but i lost my first game and i lost uh, on the combination which was like simple for the kids of the age uh, at the age of eight let's say she just gave me three pieces captured two and it was over 
And it's not because I was uh, not prepared for the match or something, but there was so much tension. And uh, I played against 16... Uh, 16 time world champion and i remember that i was so so stressed that there was always there there are so many emotions and uh, yeah only people who who play that who sit there and they, they play this match the only these people will understand the, the, the so emotions. you would say uh, i would i wanted to ask uh, how it is to play world title matches but you would say it's very uh, full of tension full of stress yeah yeah it is it is very uh yeah i heard what rule said that uh, probably for him it's easier to play world title matches for for me not really for me uh i think world title matches are much more stressful because the point is like you go to sleep and you know that the next day you will face the same opponent. Normally during tournaments it's like today you play against uh, Motrichko, tomorrow against mm -hmm. Vlishikovska, after tomorrow against Lisa <laughs> Scholtens and it goes somehow. And if you lose to uh, somehow then you know that the next day you can beat another girl and, and it goes like this. But during the match uh, you shouldn't lose mm -hmm. first of all of course because uh, it's very painful and it can cost you uh, the whole title, let's say, and uh, and the yeah, end. You know that the next day it's again the same person, the same, uh, just the same tension. Everything is the same. Everything is about the psychology. So I would say that even psychology during matches is more important than the, the drops knowledge by itself. So it's it's very. It's very stressful. I played already three matches, so I have some experience. But uh, I remember that the match against uh, Zoya was was very uh, stressful for me, and I had some difficulties even with uh, falling asleep and so on because I was thinking all the time about this this match, especially when I lost the the first game. It was like, oh my god, uh, what now? And I knew that I cannot think about it that I lost. But of course, uh, it's hard to switch off your yes. brain, you know. But uh, yeah, it's important. Uh, it's important to to learn how to switch off your brain, forget, uh, release your stress, everything, and uh, go back the next day uh, with the same energy yeah. and just yeah, play. Yeah, you just have to play. That's. Uh... But I I agree. I don't. I have a, uh, never played a match, but in a tournament, it's also. Uh, really hard when you lost or when you are still full of adrenaline from the game and you have to go sleep and yeah that's hard yes. but um it's a if you look back on it now you can probably laugh about it <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it's it's uh, <laughs> it's really big uh, yes. big experience for for every yeah strong player of course probably men are you know more stable inside in general and they are more stress resistant and so on so for them maybe it's easier but for women i believe it's a really really tough experience to to, to play yeah the match. i'm uh, curious about the differences between men and women in that uh, in that sense um, um mm -hmm. i'm not sure how it all is but i think you're right for some women it would be a bit harder um, I think yeah. we can move on to the next game. But, uh, before we yes. move on, I want to say, uh, viewers, I can still ask questions in the chat. I will dis try to, to discuss everything. Um, you can still sub subscribe to the panel, to plan channel. <laughs> Please do uh, <laughs> drafts 10 times 10. Uh, would really like it. Uh, you can st also donate to the uh, channel. And uh, thank you very much for still watching. I th think we can uh, go on now. Yes. Yes. I, I hope you will still uh, survive, my dear <laughs> viewers. But uh, I, I still have uh, some nice, uh, nice positions. So at least, uh, yeah, I wanna still show uh, two two games, uh, which are which are really nice. So the next one, I hope Arleta will forgive me, <laughs> but uh, somehow the games against her are really, <laughs> really good. Uh, from my side, uh, really good technically, and uh, th there are many nice variations and so on. So I hope she will she will forgive me that I only show her losing games uh, this time. 
uh, but this this game is from the um, World Championship uh, Women uh, in Tallinn from 2021, so quite a new game, let's say, quite a fresh one. Uh, so we also played uh, known opening. Uh, I'm playing with black. Uh, yes, yeah, she exchanged to the corner. Of course, the first moves are uh, known for everyone. Yeah, now, now of course, some people play. So let's say these first uh, 12 moves are quite obvious and, and uh, we can find uh, probably 50 or 100 yeah. games uh, in, this, in this topic in the um, uh, database. Uh, so some people play 1722, some play 1721. In this game, I play to 21. And now uh, I don't want to say that she made a big mistake because it's only the, the move uh, number 13. But uh, I wouldn't play like this with white uh, ever. Like uh, I, I didn't really like this, this development of pieces, uh, how, she, how she wanted to do. Of course, uh, mostly people exchange or here and they capture to, to 30. And uh, and some of people captured to to twenty nine. So it depends uh, what taste yeah. people have. I think because yeah. uh, there are many captures on on both sides. Uh, but Arleta chose another path. She exchanged here, and. Uh, I was already, yeah, not not already happy <laughs> because it's yeah. only the beginning. But I was happy in the meaning that I have already something that I yes. can play for. So I already found some that I can make some weaknesses in her position. So I think now the, the good move is just to attack because uh, mm, she will lose uh, lose this piece, which is also quite 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 important in the classical positions because yeah she has uh, no other move of course uh, playing like like this is uh, quite bad looks bad so this is the the logical exchange uh, now i'm just developing uh, normally 12 18 she played here mm, if she would play 41 37 probably i would go uh, here uh yeah and if she exchanges backwards then then of course she, she's just going backwards she's losing mm -hmm. tempos and still she has lack of this piece so she didn't play for 41 she played uh, this one i played seven we built somehow normally yeah. so finally she played to 37 she exchanged uh i play 11 17 so the plan for white, of course, it's quite uh, quite known, quite obvious that she she wants to lock somehow uh, yes. my wing, and of course I have no piece of two, so so if she would manage to come like this and this, then it, of course it's dangerous. But uh, that that's why I keep these columns all the time, so that it's not easy for her to to come to twenty nine. So, uh, so for me, it's important to to keep this formation like all the time, and then be careful uh, uh, of the move thirty four twenty nine. So I played eleven. Mm, yeah, now I decided mm. to exchange like this because with the next move I can uh, build my column again. So, so the plan of this exchange was like I will. Uh, uh make weaker her center first of all i will get some tempos and i will build my position on the on the right mm -hmm. wing again so she plays here eight she went again to 28 and i'm not sure whether it's a good direction because yeah i i, I still see this lack of this piece 42 and uh, when she plays to 28, it's like uh, I can uh, do with this piece a lot yes. of things. Like I can come to 17, I can attack from this side, from that side. Uh, if I don't like this piece, then I can also try to somehow uh, exchange it. Uh, so I think she she helps more me with playing like this than, than mm -hmm. herself. Mm. I went to the corner because, uh, yeah, I wanted to, to control this wing, of course. 
And again, we can see the lack of this piece, so she cannot never uh, exchange forward. This, this piece uh, 26, she played this. Now I, of course, uh, develop six, because uh, as we know, I want to keep this uh, formation. So six, this, 11, 39. And now uh, I made a strong move, 18, 22. Yeah, I was I was thinking uh, what to do with this position. I have uh, quite many plans, but this one is like uh, very logical. Uh, she played uh, 34 29, which is also um, logical at, the, at this uh, at this move. And of course, I'm for. And now Arleta uh, made I think uh, already a losing move. She didn't take the exchange two for two. She played 42, so let's see if she takes the exchange. Uh, then I play like this and uh, I think I have also quite a big advantage. Of course, it's it's hard to to win this position, but you can see the hanging piece on 40, 41 and uh, I will push uh, all my pieces on that wing and and I think I have a lot of chances uh, to beat her in in this position. Mm -hmm. And uh, if she captures like this, mm, there is no combination. No, probably just uh, I take the piece like this and this. And we have the same story. It's even uh, even worse. Yeah. That's why I showed yeah. first that, that uh, exchange, because at least uh, she could uh, take my piece from here to 15 and in this in this case my position is very safe and I do the same so I'm just pushing on the wing with all pieces mm -hmm. and she cannot never like break through on my wing so but it was still her last chance to to try uh, make a draw let's say after 48 uh, 42 there are many nice uh, variations I played 22, 27, and here like uh, almost everything is forced. Of course, she cannot play to 39 because let's show it. I have a simple combination mm -hmm. like this, and I go to the king, and of course uh, it's uh, easily winning. Yeah. So yeah. this move is not uh, possible. Uh, and yeah, of course, uh, this one is also not possible because I have still the same. So I'm forcing her attack. And now it's a very interesting moment because I played, uh, I wanted, yeah, I wanted to win uh, positionally and that was a good decision. But there is a very nice uh, combination, which is uh, very hidden, I would say, and quite difficult. There is a combination like this. I could give uh, two pieces. I'm playing <coughs> here. She has to capture two pieces. I give another piece. I give an another two pieces. Now I make the exchange. She captures and I capture six pieces. But the problem is, yeah, according to computer, I have big chances uh, to win this game. Of course, she has to play like this. Mm -hmm. But what's the problem? That, uh, because of course I will uh, eat this piece soon, uh, after like uh, two, three moves. But the problem is that uh, I have only three pieces like on the board. If it's like four, then you always know that when something goes, goes wrong, then maybe you have still chances to win. But when you have three, then you have to be 100% sure that it's winning. Yes. And here, uh, okay, I know that she's far, I know that uh, I will eat this piece, but I wasn't sure that uh, that it's winning, and uh, may maybe maybe it's not. I, I still didn't like analyze very deeply this position, because mm -hmm. I trusted more uh, my calculation in the, in the positional win, so probably I made the, the right decision, so yeah. I played uh, here, uh, we made the exchange, still many moves uh, for her are not possible. Uh, yeah, like, like I mean, th this of course are not possible because I have the same threat. Uh, this one is also not possible because I have uh, this, I guess. 
wait because it's equal mm. ah maybe i just yeah here i just attack of course uh yeah so this is the only move i played uh, for 10 she attacked because it was also the only she played here and now i uh, made another good move i just played uh, 17 21 uh, because now <clears throat> i have the majority and you can see that white cannot do anything about this and this yeah, because uh, the, there are no uh, no moves that can avoid this combination. Of course, okay. after this, I, I have this. So uh, there is there is nothing you you can do about this. So she played here. I made this. It's of course uh, two pieces less. But uh, yeah, she lost it quickly. She played this, so I made another combination, and she she gave up. But of course, it's it's winning because. Uh, yeah, you can see that um, I stood this king uh, here and I'm controlling like both uh, both lines and I can of course go with my king any direction. I wanted to attack uh, this piece and uh, of course, of course it's winning, Just it, it needs yeah. some more time. She, she chose the, the easiest way for me to, to lose this game. But I think uh, in general this game uh, from the last from the past years, it's it's one of the best when it comes to the yeah. technical game. Yeah. Yes, it was uh, not, not it was not easy to to win uh, this game, but uh, it was a good style. And uh, according to to computer, I made almost all uh, best moves, so I was I was quite happy. Yeah, about it this looked game. really good uh, indeed. Uh, fortunately for yes. Arletta, it was against her. <laughs> Yes, yes, sorry Arletta. I have a question in the <laughs> chat. Who from the Polish girls is your hardest opponent? Uh, you know, it's hard to say now because uh, they are almost at the same level. And uh, yeah, and I have probably similar score with all of them. Mm, like... Uh, in the court right, during European Championship women, I won against Arleta. During uh, Polish Championship women, I, I won against Marta Banikowska, against Kasia. This year I didn't win, but I think last year I, I won some game. So, yeah, they are, they are all at really at similar level. Of course, all are hard mm -hmm. to, to beat. And it doesn't happen to me that often that I'm uh, winning against them. And that was also my problem. that They played a lot of draws against them. Uh, but yeah, I, I cannot choose because as I, as I said, uh, they are all the, uh, they are all hard yeah. to, to beat at the same point. That uh, group of three point. is your uh, biggest con con yeah, con yeah, 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 for sure, okay. for sure. Uh, maybe we can move on to the next game again. Yes, so we will uh, discuss or one more. Yeah. Okay, then we can uh, start. You play with white. Yes, we will see because uh, maybe maybe that's the, yeah, the last so. one. We, yeah, we will show uh, tonight and actually that's good that we, we managed to, to come to this one because uh, uh, I really like uh, this this plan and this... Uh, oh, maybe I will just show. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let, let's jump to the move 24. Of course, the opening is, is also nice, but uh, we will not uh, uh, spend a lot of time on that. So uh, you can see that yeah, my position, I play against Saya. It was uh, also during Lishui Open in 2017, the same uh, tournament that I won against this Mongolian uh, guy, Od Gonbilek Sarembamba. So, yeah, so my position is, uh, is quite nice. Uh, of course, there is no like a big advantage, but there is already something I have. Uh, 
more tempos uh, in the in the position. So of course I try to play some uh, central game. Mm, and the end, she makes her first mistake, I think, because as you know, this formation is quite important, and in general, the piece on seven is is quite important, uh, especially when you have like no pieces behind so i didn't really understand why, why she made this decision that early because much more logical was to play just 14 19 i would play probably to the center like this and just she should have tried to to fight for the for the field 23 yeah. so that that would be more logical let's say variation for me but she played 7 11 so i was already like okay <laughs> okay, nice. And, and the, the most uh, important advantage of this move is that now I can uh, change my plan and to not fight for the 28, but now I can go to 29. And usually we are uh, learned at school that uh, these pieces, uh, they do not cooperate when they are like, you know, mm. together because, uh, mm, how to say that? Uh, they interrupt them, themselves somehow, but but in this kind of position, when uh, when there are no pieces here and there is no this formation, then of course you you can build your center like this, not not only with with this column. And I think uh, this what I chose is is much uh, much better and much stronger. Mm, so I played twenty nine. She played eleven seventeen. Uh, I played uh, to the center because uh, I didn't want after this. Of course, she can she can attack. So I didn't want her yeah. to develop these pieces. So I played to 28. Mm, she played 13, 19. Now I played here. Of course, I allow her to take this two for two, but it's still uh, still good for me. Still, I'm in the center, so I wasn't afraid of that. She waited uh, one move, and now I prepared uh, a nice uh, forcing, uh, and uh, yeah, it was it was winning for me, and uh, I was hoping for that. And still, I think uh, that's the best forcing I have ever made in my draft <laughs> career. So, uh, so we can see I played forty thirty four. And now, of course, it's logical to to go to the center to to exchange to to twenty three, and it even doesn't look uh, dangerous for Black, let's say. So she exchanged. Now I play here. So the first forcing, of course, I have a threat one for two to the field seven. So she's forced to attack. Now I'm playing to twenty four. We made. The exchange two for two. Now I attack, and uh, she probably saw this moment that she has uh, enough defenses. So she plays here, attacks. I defend again. Comes here. I come here and attack, and she saw that she has this move, and probably it will be equal because I take. She takes, and yeah, just probably it will be yeah. a draw. But I I saw it uh, when I played for my plan that after this move, I can capture here. She captures to the king. I play here. She captures. I go here, and I win the game <laughs> like this. <laughs> so so yeah. So uh, what's what's nice about this position that now we are uh, on the move. 43 and you can see that this is the move yeah. 30 so yeah. um, that's why i said that uh, i'm quite proud of this uh, of this forcing that uh, it was 13 moves so i i calculated everything even 13 moves uh, ahead maybe it wasn't like like very very difficult but still you had to see everything uh, till the end and uh, yeah, it wasn't that obvious for, for Black because I can imagine that she saw also everything till this moment and she she thought that yeah I have to capture with the piece 32 and she, she stopped calculating at the at that point. 
but yeah, I prepared a special <laughs> surprise at the end. So I, I was I was really happy to to win like this. And uh, yeah, for sure, it's my uh, maybe not my best game, but yeah, maybe maybe could be also. But for sure, it's my best uh, forcing uh, that I've yeah, ever made. You make made. it all look so easy, but uh, if you sit. It's uh, yes. really hard, I think, to see a person like this. Yeah, yeah, Thirty yeah. moves is a lot. Yes, yeah, so that that's quite uh, yeah. impressive. I don't know if today I can make such forcing. Of course, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe five years ago <laughs> I could. But yeah, yes, it was it was uh, really nice, and uh, I always remember about uh, this game. But uh, it, it's nice that during this master class, I could I could show it because you know it was so many years ago, and uh, nobody even uh, it's not uh, in any book or something. I also didn't uh, write any book of my games yeah. yet. <laughs> Uh, so so it's nice that uh, that I can show it again and uh, I could also refresh it for myself and it was also a good training for me. Yeah, actually. I uh, really loved your show uh, tonight. Uh, I have one last question oh. for you. Do you have any advice for other draft players, maybe for young girls, maybe for people like me, for ev- anyone? Do you have one uh, special advice? Hmm. Yeah, there there is no special advice. Uh, you just have to <laughs> uh, fall in love in the in <laughs> this game, and uh, you you just. Uh, for me, the most important thing in the whole career, I think, it was the the personality that I always wanted to to win. I wasn't happy with the second place. Uh, or okay, maybe when I was 14, I was happy with the second place. But when I reached already second place at some stage, like um, Polish Championship mm. Women, then I felt that if I reach the second place, then uh, I'm already that far from the first yes. place. So I think it's not only about the uh, drafts, and uh, for sure. When it comes to to my career, it's mostly about uh, my personality. So we cannot forget uh, to work also in in this uh, in this area that we should also read some psychological books, uh, just to work on our personality, and uh, that's also very very important because. Uh, Draft knowledge is one thing, and then to to show it on the on the board is another thing. Sometimes uh, stress is, uh, you know, more more strong than us, and uh, we lose games in our head. Like there are so many factors which are which are important. But uh, yes, the the thing I'm sure now I'm already an experienced and mature player. I'm I'm sure that uh, um, everything what I achieved it's. Uh, Thanks to my uh, personality and only then yeah. trainings. So thank you very much uh, for this. I think it's special advice. So uh, thank you very much and thank you for the master class. Um, I want to uh, uh, close this uh, master class and uh, I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, of course, you can uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Drafts Ten Times Ten. Uh, thank you very much for hosting. And um, lastly, I want to say something about Droom Dumpsters again. Um, Droom Dumpsters is an organization uh, that promotes girls and women's drafts. Um, on our website, droomdumpsters.nl, uh, you'll find a lot more information about it. And uh, I would really uh, appreciate it if you would check it out. So thank you very much and uh, have a good evening, everyone. Yes, so I also want to say uh, thank you. I hope uh, you liked it. It was also a good uh, training for me, good experience. And uh, yes, you can let me know in private messages uh, how did you like it uh, and give me some feedback. And it was also a big uh, pleasure for me to 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 run this masterclass, my first in uh, my career. So uh, thank you also. Thank you, Natalia. Okay.